Hey guys, Apoc here, and today I'm bringing you a Hog Princess Inferno deck. Uh, this is the new deck I'm testing out on ladder. This is a pretty defensive deck, mostly relying on Hog and Princess for damage while using Rocket to finish off the tower if necessary. I really like the Rocket in this meta, as it's good for taking down Balloons, Executioners, Elite Barbarians, and any stacked push that might be behind a, a Golem or a Lava Hound. Um, if you haven't given Goblin Gang a try, I really recommend it as it's strong at taking down tanks. You can do double duty versus graveyards or hog riders or really any single target troop before transitioning into a really fast counter counter attack uh, that you can hopefully get your hog out in front. And that can really take down the tower pretty quickly. Um, so let's hop into some games. Um, first, we're going to be facing uh, Trainer Sid from Crucible Rat. I've actually faced Trainer Sid actually a couple times. So we're going to start off with our Hog plus uh, Ice Spirit. We only got one hit on the tower before unfortunately activating his King. It was a nice start for him. He leads with everyone's favorite Elite Barbarians. Um, my split didn't go that well, but it wound up working out okay. With uh, Knight taking the Baby Dragon and taking down those elite barbs. <clears throat> now we find an executioner. We're getting high on elixir and not really the best answer to have it. So we're just gonna log him down and take the chip damage on the tower. <clears throat> and now we'll transition into another hog push. So this time he doesn't have tornado ready right at the start. And so he uses his uh, his wizard to stop. Uh, wizard's a nice juicy target so we'll rocket it down for over 600 damage on the tower plus uh, plus killing the, the wizard. Now we know what he's really playing with a golem in the back so let's take some chip damage right at the bat which he doesn't respond to so there's a lot of damage to be taken it's for a good value. So we'll Inferno in the back, and now all of a sudden we realize that he's got a giant push with three Musketeers and Golem. Um, since he just dropped three Musketeers, we knew he didn't really have any spells, and since we weren't in double elixir, he didn't have any pumps, we were able to really just surround it and get a tremendous value with our Knight and Goblin Gang taking it down. Okay. So once again, we split the Elite Barbarians and use our Inferno Tower to take down one bar plus the, plus the Baby Dragon for not much of a problem. So he brings it all back with, the, with his Tornado, but it looks like it's being a little bit too late. We use a Tank and Spank using our our knight to, to tank the splash damage then we can freeze him with the with the ice spirit and then we'll just use our goblin gang to clean up to clean up the elite bars now with two princess down and another knight we're looking in pretty good shape as we're bashing down his tower and it doesn't look like he's gonna get to us and that's the end that's for game one A good game well played there. So let's move on to the next one. So this one we're facing an Asian clan. Once again, we do have Hog in our opening hand, so that's always nice. Unfortunately, we don't have a response to pump, so we went with a larger push trying to get our goblin gang on the tower as well. And we do get some stabs in. Um, he did have to waste a zap. We don't have a good answer to minions, so we're just gonna body block with uh, with our knight. <clears throat> he does have to waste a little elixir on that. 
Okay, so now we learn that we are facing another golem deck. We get our princess on the tower, only get two shots before uh, or the archers didn't want to leak elixir, so we'll just chip down those archers and finish off and hit the tower before placing our inferno tower. Now it is early, unfortunately, and that allows him to get his uh, his minions to lock on, but we use our gang to intercept. Those stab goblins don't die to uh, don't die to the zap, and our knight plus the stab goblins finish off that golem. All in all, not too much damage taken. I would say it's a pretty good trade. Most of the damage came from the lightning. So now we can use the knight to push right into those elite barbs. We only get two hits off. It's not so bad. We use our princess plus the goblin gang. Um, we didn't see any logs, so didn't have to worry about those two being stacked in the middle. So that keeps our princess. And that's a nice uh, six for six trade, but we keep the princess, so it's a good deal. This time we have Rocket in hand for his pump. Um, you can do a much better job rocketing than I just did right there as I failed to clip the tower. Okay, so now we're ready for another golem in the back. We rush with a hog. We're gonna get two hits and all the way down to 95. Um, set up our princess to start uh, AoEing down as whatever it gets close. We'll also set up our Inferno Tower right in the middle. So now that we got all this giant clump, let's rocket down those elite barbarians plus an archer and the and the golem, getting great value out of that rocket. And really that's the end of the game. Um, he doesn't have enough time to push again. And shut that shut that down real fast. So that really shows you the strength of uh, of Inferno plus Rocket and stop and stopping big pushes. Okay, guys, let's hop right into that next game. Once again, we have a Hog Ice Spirit push that we can open up with. He opens up with a nice spirit on the other side. Uh, you're going to want to have your knight a little further ahead so that your ice spirit doesn't hit uh, the tower plus your knight. Um, getting a little bit of extra value plus a little chip on the tower. Unfortunately, our princess misses some of those goblins. And now we're in a bit of trouble. Uh, he, zaps down our, he zaps down our goblins, but his hog is going to town on us. Um, okay, so we'll counterattack with our hog. We're getting some good hog damage as well as bashing down his knight, so his knight won't be able to really counterattack. All in all, down about 400. So we'll princess at the bridge. And just in time, he uh, dropped the goblin gang. And that was a pretty bad log. So we'll cycle back to Goblin Gang, and now we get a surprise three musketeer. And with that, we're gonna rock it down two of the three, plus chip the tower. Oh, but we weren't really ready for uh, for that hog rider. We planted that inferno tower way too late, and unfortunately, that's gonna be the end of our tower. <laughs> Okay. So we're down about a thousand. Little chip from our princess, not so good. Little chip from the log, that helps. So we know he's playing three musketeer, so we gotta be careful of uh, them placing it in the middle. We are gonna get a hog hit here. That's going to at least put it into rocket range. We're gonna predict prediction night. And it works out, stopping the three musketeers from getting our, from getting us. 
Then we'll use our princess with the log to get rid of them. And really now there's just a knight on the tower and we're not going to be too worried about our king. We start getting some hits with our hog and got our princess on the other side. So we're going to log down all those, uh, all those goblins. Our king tower will take down the hog and then goblin gang to finish off his knight. Okay, so finally we get a reset and we're just about even on tower life. Okay, so we predicted uh, a knight. This time he didn't go for it, but he put them all the way in the back. So we're going to get some rocket value, which is beautiful, and use our knight plus our log to clean up and get our hog to the tower. And boom, three. So we got a big three hog hits. That gets it all the way down to 967. So we predicted with our knight to block to save our princess, which was great. Then we have our goblin gang already taking down his hog, plus our knight taking down the hog, and that was a perfect defense. Back to a hog, prediction log, gets him out of the way, and that gives us one hog hit, plus the rocket, take it down. 17 seconds to spare in overtime, and that gets us to a new personal best. And that new personal best is 53.20. And that puts us at 1,213 in the world, as well as puts us in the top 200 in the USA. All the way at 137. So we gained 350 spots um, all the way to 137, which is nice. So we'll try to do some more pushing tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the deck. Okay guys, let's hop right into that next game. Once again, we have a Hog Ice Spirit push that we can open up with. He opens up with an Ice Spirit on the other side. Uh, you're going to want to have your Knight a little further ahead so that your Ice Spirit doesn't hit uh, the tower plus your knight um, getting a little bit of extra value plus a little chip on the tower unfortunately our princess misses some of those goblins and now we're in a bit of trouble uh, he zaps down our he zaps down our goblins but his hog is going to town on us um, okay so we'll counter attack with our hog we're getting some good hog damage as well as bashing down his knight so his knight won't be able to really counter attack all in all down about 400. So we'll princess at the bridge. And just in time, he uh, dropped the goblin gang. And that was a pretty bad log. Okay, so we'll cycle back to Goblin Gang, and now we get a surprise three musketeer. And with that, we're gonna rock it down two of the three, plus chip the tower. Oh, but we weren't really ready for uh, for that hog rider. We planted that infernal tower way too late, and unfortunately, that's gonna be the end of our tower. <laughs> Okay. So we're down about a thousand. A little chip from our princess, not so good. A little chip from the log, that helps. So we know he's playing three musketeer, so we gotta be careful of uh, them placing it in the middle. We are gonna get a hog hit here. That's going to at least put it into rocket range. We're gonna predict prediction night. And it works out, stopping the three musketeers from getting our, from getting us. Then we'll use our princess with the log to get rid of them. And really now there's just a knight on the tower and we're not going to be too worried about our king. We start getting some hits with our hog and got our princess on the other side. So we're going to log down all those, uh, all those goblins. Our king tower will take down the hog. 
and then Goblin Gang to finish off his night. Okay, so finally we get a reset, and we're just about even on Tower Life. Okay, so we predicted uh, a Knight. This time he didn't go for it, but he put them all the way in the back, so we're going to get some Rocket Value, which is beautiful, and use our Knight plus our Log to clean up and get our Hog to the Tower. And boom. Three. So we got a big three Hog hits. That gets it all the way down to 967. So we predicted with our knight to block to save our princess, which is great. Then we have our goblin gang already taking down his hog, plus our knight taking down the hog, and that was a perfect defense. Back to a hog, prediction log, gets him out of the way, and that gives us one hog hit, plus the rocket, take it down. 17 seconds to spare in overtime, and that gets us to a new personal best. And that new personal best is 53.20. That puts us at 1,213 in the world, as well as puts us in the top 200 in the USA. All the way at 137. So we gained 350 spots um, all the way to 137, which is nice. So we'll try to do some more pushing tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the deck.